Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Good to see everyone here today. Even though with the mask on, I can still see you smiling. <laughs> Amen. Truly, we thank God for a joyful time in being in the house of God today. And truly, you know, just despite the COVID, the restrictions, and, and all of those things that the government put in place, we still going to praise God and rejoice in our Lord and Savior Jesus yes. Christ. Amen. Because you know what? I thank God for what he has done for each and every one of us. Yes. And praise God. You know what? No matter what's out there, no matter what vac vaccination, vaccines, you know what? We're still all in the hands of God. Yes. And for that right there, I say, you know what? I owe God a praise in that thing, God. Because it's the blood, amen. It's the blood of Jesus. That is going to protect us, praise God. It's not man, but God. And so I thank God as we go forth today that we lift up and magnify and exalt our wonderful, precious name of Jesus. So at this time, we're going to have if Brother Phillips will come forth and give us an opening prayer, praise God. Amen. Let us welcome Amen. Brother Phillips as he comes forth. Amen. After Brother Phillips, praise God, we will have Brother Cook come forth and give us our scripture. Thank you, Jesus. Said unto us, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 Yes. Lord, we thank you this morning. Thank you. We thank you, Lord, for waking us. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us into your house. Lord, we pray this morning, Lord, that you let us receive something, Lord. That we can take forth out into the world, Lord, to let everybody know, Lord. That it's you that watch over us each and every day. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's you, Lord, that have the final say, Lord, whether we wake or whether we sleep. Yes, Lord. So, Lord, this morning we pray that you'll bless those, Lord, yes, Lord, that are not in our assembly this morning. We pray, Lord, that you'll watch over each and every one. We pray, Lord, that you'll watch over our children, our nieces, our nephews, our mothers, our fathers. We pray this morning, Lord, that you'll watch over our pastor and our first lady, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you'll continue, Lord, to let them teach us, Lord, to, Lord, to, to just... Let them, Lord, just show us the way, Lord. We are the sheep of their flock, Lord. We just say thank you this morning for the goodness of your heart. We just say thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. We just say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Hallelujah. We say thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. We say thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Good morning, saints. We will be reading from 1 Timothy 2. From 2 to 8. Amen. When you're ready, say amen. Say that again, please. First Timothy, First Timothy, chapter two. Thank you, Jesus. Say amen when you're ready. Amen. I exhort, therefore, mm -hmm. that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks, he made for all. For kings and for all that are in authority, that have been leading in quiet and peaceful life, and in all of and honesty. For, for 
this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. Who will have all, all men, men to be saved, saved and to come, and come, come and to the knowledge of the truth. truth. Amen. For there is one God mm -hmm. yes. and one mediator yes, yes. between God and man, uh -huh. the man Christ Jesus. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher mm -hmm. and an apostle, I speak the truth in Christ and lie not teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. I will ever love you and pray everywhere. Let me hold your hands by the wrath and shout out. God bless the hearer and the speaker of the word. Amen. 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 Truly, I thank God for the prayer that came forth and the scripture that came forth. And truly, I thank God for just being God. Amen. So, Amen. I remember in the scripture says, as we enter in with thanksgiving, and praise. Mm -hmm. Amen. Y'all believe that? Amen. Amen. So before we get started, and Minister Doug has given us a couple of songs, praise God, we're going to stand, praise God. If you can stand, if you can sit, that's fine, praise God. But you know what? We're going to give God a good old fashioned. And Pastor said, I got to be first by Jacob, so I'm going to clap my hands too, Pastor. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but you know what? Let's give God a good old fashioned hand clap and hallelujah shout. And just say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, last week the Pastor said he could preach. When we got a good old fashioned praise service, they get him stirred up, praise God. And we're going to get our pastor stirred up today, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's a storm out.
be praised. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He Hallelujah. is worthy to be worshipped. He is worthy Thank to be adored. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank God you. for this day that He's given us. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. I shall bless the Lord at all times. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And his praise yes, shall Thank continually you. be in my mouth. Hallelujah. And my soul shall be in the Thank you, Jesus. Be humble will hear thereof and be glad. Thank you. And it says, Oh, magnify. The Lord is with me. Oh, magnify. Hallelujah. The Lord with me. Yes. And let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There is strength in praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I do thank, thank God for this opportunity. Thank God for each and every one of you. Thank you, Lord. That have came out. Amen. Thank God thank for each one of you. Hallelujah. Let us tune in. Amen. 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 And this morning, I want to invite your attention to the book of Revelations. Thank you. The fourth chapter Hallelujah. in the book of Revelations. And I'm going to start reading at the eighth verse. And I'll be reading through chapter 5, down through verse 7. Amen. I didn't want to. Uh, I'm starting at the fourth chapter in the eighth verse. I'm sorry, at the, yes, the eighth verse. And I'm going to read through chapter 5 to the seventh verse. Amen. Amen. It was a little lengthy, but I just couldn't cut, cut it off. <laughs> Amen. 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 And the fourth beast, having each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rested not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was, it was, and is, and is to come. Amen. And when those beasts Give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who lives forever and ever. Mm -hmm. And four and twenty elders fell down before him that sat on the throne, and worshiped him that lived forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Yes, and I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book Jesus. written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. Yes, and I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals there are? Mm -hmm. And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, Jesus. neither to look thereon. Jesus. And I wept much, Jesus. because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. Jesus. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Yes. The root of David yes. has prevailed to open the book yes. and to loose the seven seals there are. Mm -hmm. And I beheld and lo in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts mm -hmm. and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb mm -hmm. as it had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes mm -hmm. which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into the, all the earth and he came and took the book mm -hmm. out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Mm -hmm. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing yeah. to the hearing and reading yeah. of his word. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So my thought this morning is a new perspective. All right. I want to talk to you about 
a new perspective because many times things is more than what we actually see. Yes. Amen. And uh, our family has been going through the last week, been going through for a while. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I feel like when you're going through, sometimes you need a new perspective. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And we see that John is weak. And sometimes you feel like weak. Yes, sir. And I often think about the verse that says, weeping may endure. Uh, no. For a night, but joy will come in the morning. Come on, Pastor. Preach it. Because we are earthly human beings. Yes. Many times we think, see things from an earthly standpoint. Mm -hmm. But I noticed that the Bible says the elders was worshiping. Come on. And while John was seeing a lamb, the elder says, the lion from the tribe of Judah, the root of David. I always get me that root of David. Can be the son of David, but also the root of David. In other words, they only exist because Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. He was before Jesse. Right. He proclaimed that he was before Abraham. All right. And the Bible let us know in order to take the divine nature of God, it comes through his pre uh, uh, precious promises. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so John, you remember, was a disciple of Jesus. To give you a little background, uh, he had a brother named John, and they were fishermen. Mm -hmm. And Jesus called them sons of thunder. Okay. Yes. Okay. And the Bible also says he was John, the disciple whom Jesus loved. Yes. Yes. And so we understand that when we read the book of John, he's heavy on the divinity of Christ. The Bible says in, in John, he says in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The word, word was God. And so he understands the, uh, the, the, the fact that Jesus was God in the flesh. And so we remember when his mother and also him and his brother came to Jesus and they wanted one to sit on the right and one to sit on the left. But Jesus rebuked them and let them know it wasn't for him to give. Yes. And so instead of that, he promised them persecution. Now, can you imagine that going into your boss and you want a higher position or you want a raise? And he says, hold on. <laughs> uh, you got more work to do. Mm -hmm. and, and so he let them know that persecution is ahead. And we find later on that John was the one that when Jesus was going to pass through Samaria, he wanted to call down fire from heaven. And he wanted it to consume them. Yes. Uh, just like Elias did. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus had to remind him, you don't know what kind of spirit you're in. Right. And see, we got to be careful what kind of spirit we've got. Because you can't just read the Bible and pick something out and think you can apply it yourself. All right, great. Uh, you got to follow along when it comes to God. Because when God moves, yes. then that's when you move. Yes. Yes. Uh, you can't duplicate your life according to somebody else. All right. 
Hallelujah. You, got, you have to pay attention. Mm -hmm. So Jesus was letting them know, I didn't come to destroy life. Come on, Hallelujah. You know, Jesus came that we may have life. Hallelujah. And have it more abundant. Hallelujah. He came that we may live a saved life. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. and, and so he's kind of trying to get John to see it from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. See, uh, Jonah had to, to find out. That, there, that he had to look at things from a different perspective. Just because you don't like somebody, right. and, and God telling you yeah. what to do to that individual, mm -hmm. give him the word. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you may be giving somebody life. Hallelujah. You may be able to save somebody, mm -hmm. but it's through the word of God. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And so John is weeping, but the animals are worshiping. Hallelujah. John sees a lamb and his mind is on what is going to happen to the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now we know the chances are we're not going to be here when it comes to an end. Hallelujah. But can you imagine if the seals were never open? Mm -hmm. You would never know whether a, 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 a coronavirus is going to come and wipe out the earth. Whether well, man going to destroy himself, you have no idea what's going to happen. Great, great, great. But the lamb had the power, had the authority to open the seals. Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. Right. See, when a letter is sealed, can't anybody open it. Right. Hallelujah. When a king seal a letter, it, it only going to be opened by the one that has the authority to open it. Hallelujah. So John is weeping. Because there's nobody to let him know what the end's going to be. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, and so we can tell you right now that the saints of God is going to have victory. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be going through right now. Hallelujah. You may be going through some things right now. Yes, but you ought to know that God is working something in you. Yes. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to work for your good to them that love the Lord. Yes. But sometimes you need a different perspective. Sometimes you don't know because you haven't heard from God. You have to understand when God speaks to you, you have to listen. Come on, Hallelujah. Preach it, preach it. And so even when Paul, you remember when he had the uh, uh, thorns, he prayed to God. The Bible says three times. But when he heard from God, it gave him a different perspective. Yes. Hallelujah. Because he felt like, I can't make it with those three thorns. I need you to remove it. A lot of times we think we need something when we need something totally different. Amen. Hallelujah. And so the Lord let him know, my grace is sufficient for you, Paul. Paul. Hallelujah. Right. Glory to God. You don't need what you think you need. You need what I'm giving you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so, when you worship God, it gives you a different perspective. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When you come into a service and you begin to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. See, worship is a deep uh, respect for somebody that is superior to you. Amen. Hallelujah. It is somebody that you humble yourself before because he is greater than us. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And see, the Bible says that that there is a measure of faith to every man. Yes, Hallelujah. And so when people come and say, well, I don't believe there is a God. Well, you were not born that way. That's right. Hallelujah. You were born with a measure of faith. That's right. But what happened to you is that you didn't realize how bad sin is. Yes. Sin will mess you up. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Sin will make you worse than it was when you were born. Hallelujah. And so every man has a measure of faith, but because of sin, because you don't recognize God for who he is, and then you said, now I don't believe that there is a God. You have made yourself a fool. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I didn't call you a fool. The Bible called you a fool. Thank you, Jesus. Before you get mad with me. Hallelujah. And see, people get mad with you when they don't have the same respect. People try to control you because their perspective, they're not looking at things the way you look at them. Hallelujah. And if you don't see things the way they look at they get come angry. 
Hallelujah. You, you, did you see that move? Oh, I love that move. Maybe you don't like that move at all. <laughs> Hallelujah. Psychiatrists, they have what they call them ink blots. I did that this have you ever did that? <laughs> I did that one. And my wife was laughing at me because she said, that's you? But then when she did hers, she had the same. <laughs> this, I don't know about that thing. But you were laughing when they were telling me. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> because it says I come across as cold. Come on now. Even though I'm not cold. And oh, she thought that was fun. <laughs> Hallelujah. She said, oh yeah, that's it. That's you. <laughs> but you look at the ink, the ink splot. Mm -hmm. And then you put what you think it looked like. <laughs> and some of them you look at and you think, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Hallelujah. But it's all according to your how you see things. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah. You see pictures that way. Sometimes they show pictures. It look like birds on a tree. You look at it another way, you see a woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's all how you look, how your mind is working. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Hallelujah. The elders were washing the Lord. And they saw a lion, lion of Judah, mm. the root of David. Thank you, Jesus. And John was wondering, how this thing going to end? Can you imagine how this thing going to end? Because if the Bible didn't tell us, we would think men are going to destroy their own self. Yeah. Hallelujah. The nuclear war, it's going to be a nuclear war, it's going to wipe everybody out. According to the Bible, no, it's not. It's some, some aliens going to come in. No, it's not. The climate change is going to make the earth burn. And I'm not saying don't work against it, but I'm saying that it's not how it's going to end. All right, go ahead, read. It's going to end just like the Bible said. The lamb slain from the foundation of the earth. John was looking at it from an earthly standpoint. But the elders. All right, go ahead. Hallelujah. They were worshiping you, Lord. Holy, yeah. holy, holy. Oh, Pulling that crown oh, off. Throwing it before the throne. I hear you. Come on, man. Because Jesus is worthy. Oh, yes. Yes, John understood he was worthy. Yes, sir. John, I'm talking about John the Baptist understood. Yes, he was worthy. He said, I must decrease. decrease. He must increase. increase. Jesus. Amen. I came to pair the way. He is the way. The truth and the life. He said, no man can come to God except by me. He said, I'm happy to be a friend of the bridegroom. Hallelujah. Glory to God. John didn't try to make a name for himself. Nothing wrong with writing books. But you know, a lot of preachers now got a brain. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, it's copyright. You can't even repeat me unless you give me the credit. All right. Great. Great. God is not copyright. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said he wanted to preach. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it's the power of God unto salvation to all that believe. All you have to do is believe. He said, if you believe in me as the scripture has said, out of your belly shall fall living rivers of water. Living water. Hallelujah. Once you believe as the scripture has said. Hallelujah. Not something you've made up. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. God wants you to understand we are saved. We are saved. By grace. Yes. We are accessed in that grace by faith. Hallelujah. That means Gentiles don't have to become Jews. If you want to become one, become one. But don't say you got to become one to be saved. Don't 
say you have to become one to understand the power of God. The power of God is through the Spirit of God. It's through the Word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You mess yourself up when you think you got a part in, in salvation, saving yourself other than to, to accept Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when you accept him, there will be works. Yes. The Bible said good works. Hallelujah. But you're not saved by good works. No, not your good works. <laughs> but he said that is as filthy rags. Amen. Amen. Look at him. The Bible already not explained it to us. Right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What do you think he was doing when, when Paul went down to Jerusalem mm -hmm. and stood before the council? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And should they be circumcised? Do they have to, 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 to follow after the, the things of the Jews? Mm -hmm. No. Just remember to have the poor. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Abstain from blood. Yes, and you good. Hallelujah. You can go ahead and eat your pork chop. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just bless it and eat. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, we just get carried away. That's <laughs> Hallelujah. You don't eat too much of it. God then gave us a wisdom too. Hallelujah. I, I love the that from thin when I used to love that. It's been so long ago. Right? Oh, thin with the the, the Fat around it, <laughs> crispy fried. Yeah. I can't eat it now, but that's a memory. Hallelujah. Keep your mind on Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. The best advice I got my family right now in these troubled times yeah. is a hold on to Jesus. Yes. Don't yes. let go. Yes. Hallelujah. I said, don't let go. Just think I would be what I do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It, he is a God of comfort. He will comfort you. Yes. Hallelujah. He will uphold you. Hallelujah. When you feel like you don't have strength left in you, he will renew your strength. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He never promised you you're not going to be weak sometime. You know that old eagle? He didn't promise that eagle. Uh, you gonna always be flying above the clouds. Though eagles, they're not always flying above the clouds. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. They go through a process. When they get old, they get weak. The, 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 they have to have new wings, uh, uh, new wing feathers. Yes. Hallelujah. They have to renew their strength. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. But you better watch out when He renew His strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And see them snakes, long they on the ground, they on their home turf. Mm -hmm. but, but you take them up in the air and see what's going to happen. <laughs> All he can do is twist and turn. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But see, you can't stay on the ground. Hallelujah. You got to soar sometime. All right. All right. Worshiping the Lord. Yes. You'll never go wrong worshiping God. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. And what will happen is when you worship something besides God. You got to make sure you're not worshiping an idol. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And, and, and look, don't think an idol is just a little statue you got at home. No. It can be a living, breathing person. All right. Hallelujah. It, it, it can be your finances. It can be your house, your car, your children, or your wife can be an idol, or your husband can be an idol. But if you put him first, you don't have to worry about everything else. Right. Everything else will be in his rightful place yes. if we put him in his rightful place. He said, I am the cornerstone. Hallelujah. If you put him in his place, you won't be stoned. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you have that cornerstone, he's, it's supposed to be where he's, you, you're supposed to lay it in your life. And you got it out there somewhere in the open. All right. Hallelujah. We work construction. One of the first thing they tell you, good housekeeping. Hallelujah. Keep stuff clean up around the side. If you don't put Jesus where he's supposed to be, you're going to stumble on something. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the wicked don't know what they're stumbling on. Ha. Thank you, Jesus. And you're trying to tell them on, you're please. stumbling because you don't have it in the right place. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You put Jesus in the right place in your life, your house will not fall. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> he is the way, the truth, yes. and the life. Yes. Just, I am just glad. I rejoice. Oh, Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The people getting so mixed up now. Mm -hmm. The other day, I was hearing someone that was invited to a wedding. They didn't like the way the, the, the uh, not the bridegroom. You know, it used to be focused on the bridegroom. They didn't like the way the bride was conducting things. <laughs> oh, wow. So I flew in all of that way. I didn't get to talk to you. Look, it wasn't about them. All right. Say it. You come Say to it. the wedding Say it. because you want to be a part and you are happy for them. Yes. You are rejoicing with, for them. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 And John didn't care that I was. He said, I'm going to decrease. <laughs> I'm, my popularity is going to go down. All right. But his is going to go yes. up. That's when you rejoice. Yes. yes. When you give him all the glory. Yes. And all of the honor. <laughs> Thank you. Hallelujah. Mm. And I love the way Paul puts it. What you got that you didn't get? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. If you are a good teacher or you're a good preacher, whatever you are, you are what you are because, because of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so it makes sense to give him praise. Yes. It makes yes. sense to lift him up. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you let God know? It's not going to be easy for you. Yes. Why you want to sit one on the right and one on the left? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because you got something to go through first. All right. Tradition say he will boil in oil. Can you imagine oh, that? Oh, thank you. If we think we're going through something. Mm -hmm. He will boil in oil. Mm -hmm. And he was put out on the island of Pat. Come on, Jesus. Come on, preacher. preacher. Alone. Yes, oh, but he began to get revelations from God. Oh, Jesus. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. And many times we want to know why mm -hmm. we have to suffer. They suffered. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. It wasn't much fakers in that day. You know why? Because they were being put to death. Jesus. Hallelujah. We are blessed in this day and age. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When have we shed blood? When you got beat? Jesus. They were being beaten. Mm -hmm. Paul says, I have evidence, scars. Because he was a Christian. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <coughs> and people wanted to redefine now to what it is to be a Christian. But the Bible says they were first called Christian at Antioch. Uh -huh. And the reason they were called Christians is because they were Christ-like. That's why. Hallelujah. Not just because you claim it. Yes. Hallelujah. Preach. God knows those that are his. Yes. That is the foundation that we have, is God knows those that are mine. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And you remember John, the same John I'm talking about? You remember he ran across a man that was casting out demons in Jesus' name? Mm -hmm. And what did he do when he went to Jesus? Look, Jesus, we stopped him. <laughs> Hallelujah. He was casting out demons in your name, but he's not part of our group. You know them churches that think they don't want to say? Hallelujah. Just because they want to part of our group, he said, if they're not against, look, if you run across somebody not against you, Hallelujah. they must be for you. All right. Hallelujah. When you tell them about Jesus, when you tell them about the Holy Ghost being baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. and they don't fight against it, mm -hmm. they must be for you. Hallelujah. That's what Jesus said. They don't have to be part of your group. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. If you cast out a, de a demon in Jesus' name, who are you going to be mad about? Amen. Hallelujah. All of us need to be casting out demons in Jesus' name. Yeah, all right. It's like Moses when they picked the fifth. Remember that? And, and 48 of them was at the meeting. If, if, yeah. I, if I didn't get that wrong. And, and two of them were missing. Yeah. But then when they began to prophesy, they came to Moses and said, look, them two wasn't even at the meeting. And they prophesied. <laughs> Glory. 
Moses had the right response. I wish all y'all prophesied. <laughs> Hallelujah. I wish we didn't even need teachers. <laughs> Hallelujah. I wish all y'all was teachers. Amen. Hallelujah. But there is a process. Yes. And the process is not bringing glory to ourselves. Yes. It's to lift yes. up Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have to see a, a, a different perspective. Teachers have to see a different perspective when you're teaching and someone don't accept what you're teaching and you know it's true. The Bible says do what? Talk about them? No. Pray for them. Why? Because we know the perspective. We have the, the vision. Mm -hmm. Because you are entrapped by Satan. Right. And so we pray that you may escape. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Don't go around all mad. Mm -hmm. That happened to me one time. Teacher come to me, you got to do something. I said, you're the teacher, what you mean? You <laughs> saved, ain't you? We're going to pray for them. Mm -hmm. We're going to pray for them. You're going to keep teaching. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because that's what the Bible said. Mm -hmm. If a person is in a snare with the devil, how are you going to let him loose? Mm -hmm. You're not going to talk your way into it. You're not going to talk his way out. You're going to have to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. A different perspective. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to have a different perspective about things. Hallelujah. Especially when it ain't working. That, that, we, there's a lot of stuff people are doing. They know it's not working. Mm -hmm. Then why do you keep doing it? <laughs> you know it's not working, and you keep doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. He is our master. He is our creator. Yes. yes. And I thank God. He thank was worthy. Jesus. He was worthy to open those seals. And when he opened those seals, it revealed what's going to come. Hallelujah. See, God knows all about this thing. Yes. Don't let them take God by surprise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It may take us by surprise. Oh, yeah. But it don't take God by surprise. Don't act like. Oh boy, this was this is a surprise to God. No, it's not a surprise to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. He on. know all about it. God created problems so we could solve them. <laughs> There's not a problem that can't be solved. Hallelujah. Uh, some may be harder than others. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Pray for them. I, 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 I'd be on Facebook, but I hate to get involved by no man. If I get involved on Facebook, y'all call me up and I'll be on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I got to the place I know everybody's not going to listen, and they don't want to listen. Amen. Hallelujah. Some people love misery. Yes. It, it's hard to believe, but listen, some people love misery. Yeah. Because you don't have to be miserable. Right. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says rejoice. Again I say rejoice. rejoice. Right. You can rejoice in the Lord. When you worship you rejoice. Right. Because our joy comes from the Lord. Yes. It's a joy to know who the Lord is. Yes. Right. I say it's a joy to know yes. who the Lord is. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. There might be some things in your life that bring you grief. But if you give God his rightful place, I guarantee you, you won't be there long. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will bring you out. Yes. Hallelujah. And you'll be better off. A lot of times you're better off once you come through. Amen. And you come through it and you look back and say, ooh, look what the Lord has done. All right. Hallelujah. Come on. Isn't there a song? Look what the Lord has done. Amen. He brought me out. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. Look, couldn't nobody do it but the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And stop. Look, don't let people control you, and don't you try to control nobody. Right. And they're going to accuse, they accuse uh, uh, preachers and, and teachers of trying to control. No, we're not. Hallelujah. One of them said, uh, they take too much pleasure in correction. No, we don't. We take, uh, we take pleasure in the, the what it do. <laughs> We don't take pleasure when you don't understand it. Yes, sir. But we take pleasure when you get it. Mm 
Who would? Hallelujah. If you was a teacher and you teach multiplication, and when the student gets it, don't you be happy? Amen. Don't you be happy? <laughs> Hallelujah. So they got it. Hallelujah. Not rejoice because you didn't know. Is we rejoice because you got it. Hallelujah. And the Bible lets you know the real thing is we don't like being corrected. Amen. I didn't say y'all, I said we. <laughs> but you still have to take it in a different perspective. I got to understand that when I am corrected, I get better. It's working something in me. Hallelujah. And that's why the Bible said this present time, it don't feel good. Hallelujah. That's why I tell you, don't get mad. Hallelujah. When the word of God go forth, don't get mad. Get Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so I just had to change my perspective. Amen. Hallelujah. Instead of getting mad, <laughs> I have to realize I got to look a little further. Yes, yes, because when I come through, yeah. I'm going to be better off. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you don't believe me, just in a worldly sense, correct your child and see how glad they are. <laughs> <laughs> But you know that when they uh, come of age, you know what they're going to do? Boy, daddy was right. Or mm -hmm. mama was right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because you've had some experiences. See, you've had some experiences in life. You've gone through something other people have. And God put you here to go through those experiences so that not only that it improve your character, but you can help somebody else. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And instead of just saying what you heard and what you believe. Yes. See, Job had to go through something. Amen. Hallelujah. And he said, I searched for him where I thought I, I, I had last seen him and I couldn't find him. Amen. Hallelujah. And just because you don't feel God, don't think God is not there. Never think he's not there. He said, I'll never lead you. And I'll never forsake you. And I'm with you even unto the end of the world. And so God bless you. Worship the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And so we thank him for all that he is. Yes, sir. How do as Mother Harris used to say, you get good and good. Hallelujah. You're good and good. Amen. The more you find out about Jesus, you get good and good.